Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Paper Magic Studio. In this video, I will do a full tour of Cricut Design Space. Now, since there's so much information in Cricut Design Space, I will split this video into two parts. So after you're done watching this video, make sure you watch the next one. The link will be in the description. Now, while you're watching these videos, I'll encourage you to take notes, pause the video when you need to, and you can also save them later for your reference. Now let's get started. First, you will need to log in. If you haven't created a Cricut Design Space account, you'll want to do that right away. Once you're logged in, the first screen you will see is the home screen. At the very top, there are banners for featured products or products on sale. And here at the top, you will see the projects you've created and saved. You can hit view all or scroll over here on the right to see your projects. If you scroll down, you'll see a ton of Cricut projects that you can make. They're broken up by different segments like seasonal projects, infusible ink projects, card projects, ready to make, and so forth. Now, if you see a little green and white A in the corner of a project, that means it's a project included in the Cricut Access subscription. There are a ton of projects and images you'll be able to use if you sign up for Cricut Access. When you click on a project, a new window will open with directions on how to make the project and what materials and images you'll need. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see how much each image costs that you need for that project. Mine says subscribe because I do have Cricut Access. Now let's scroll up and look at the left side here where these three lines are. At the top, you will see your name and the option to edit your profile. You'll also see the home button here, which will take you to the home screen. Below, you will see Canvas. This is where you can start a new project and toggle between different pages in your current project you're working on. And you have new machine setup, co collaboration. This is where you will collaborate your machine for print to cut. Uh, manage custom materials, update firmware, account details, and so forth. Here where it says Cricut Access is where you can sign up for the subscription. If you plan on making a lot of projects and don't want to pay for individual images, this might be a good option for you. Now on the right here you have My Projects again. And if you click on this, it'll take you to another view to look at all of your projects. This view is more like a grid view, so you can see a larger thumbnail image of your projects. Now we'll go ahead and click the home button here on the left again. Now on the right here, you will see the word maker. Well, if you drop down, this is where you choose what machine you have. There's the Cricut Joy, Cricut Maker, and Cricut Explorer Air 2, or the Cricut Explorer family. Now, to start a new project, you can click here where it says New Project, or you can click over here on the left again and go straight to the canvas. Now, this is where we'll begin to start designing our project. On the left here, there's an option to start a new project in case you want to start over and it will ask you if you want to save your current project first. Then right below, there are these really cool templates you can use. There are all kinds of templates in here, backpacks, aprons, bag tags, different banners, bibs, it's really cool how they've provided all of these different templates you can use. Now, just to show you how these templates work, we're going to choose the file folder template. Once you select a template, you'll see this banner come up that says templates are for reference only and will not be saved with your project. For some reason, I did have to click off the page 
or on the scrolling bar at the bottom to get the template to show up. The file folder template is about the standard size of every file folder. And now if I wanted to create a label on the file folder or put, put something on the front of the file folder, I have a good template to use. I went ahead and chose text on the left here to add text to the file folder. And now I'm going to add a shape that I can put behind the text. You can adjust shapes in different ways. You can use the corner on the right there to drag it out or to change the entire shape, you'll have to click the lock key on the left to unlock it. I moved the shape behind the text by right clicking and hitting move backwards. I can also shrink the text down and put it up top here on the file folder as a little label instead of putting it on the front. Now that we went over templates, below is projects and here you can select any of these projects to put into your canvas and start that project. Up at the top here, you, you'll see all categories. And if you drop down, there are different categories of projects, like projects for the Cricut Maker, free projects, and other categories. Now we'll go down and click images. Here you will see a search bar for searching all the Cricut images available. You can type in pretty much any image you're looking for. For example, if I type in Apple and hit search, all the different Cricut Apple images will show up. Each image will either have a price, have subscribed, or purchased if you've purchased that image. You can see here on the left, there's the Cricut Access option, and if you click on that, it'll show you all the images included with the Cricut Access. You can also click ownership and select images that are available to you, whether you purchase them, you've uploaded them, or they're just free images. You can also click brand, which are usually the licensed images. Typically these are not included with your Cricut access and need to be purchased separately. You can also filter by material or language. You can exit your search by clicking the X here next to the apple in the search bar and it'll take you to a screen where you can look at different Cricut images that they've put on their front page. There are a ton of images and a lot of them are included with the Cricut Access. If you're not making images yourself or purchasing them elsewhere, then this is a really good option for you to sign up with Cricut Access. Now you can also filter by type and here you can just filter by cards, phrases, and 3D objects or you can filter by operation type and this is if you want to do cut projects only, print then cut only, here's where you can select those projects. And you can also filter by image complexity and layers. Next on your canvas, you have text. Here I have my file folder template still up, so I'm just going to write my important document text. And then up here in the left corner is where you can change your font. Now there are a ton of fonts available, and if you see a font with a little green A next to it, that means it's included with your Cricut Access. You can also filter fonts by your system fonts that are on your computer, or you can select Cricut, and then over here on the right, you can hit filter and select my fonts, and that will show you which fonts are available for you to use for free. So that is how you change your font. You can also change the style of the font to regular, bold, or italic, and you can change the size here, the line space, uh, the letter spacing, and you can also curve your text, and this is how you do it. 
you click on the curve icon and you just move this little dot left or right depending on how you want to curve your letters. If you click advance here, it looks like you can ungroup your letters. Right now they're grouped, which means when you move the letters, they'll all move together. Here you can change the line type, so you can change whether you want these letters to cut, are they printing, are you using a pen to draw them, and next to the line type is where you can change the color of the letters. If you click the little box icon, it'll drop down to other colors you can choose. You can click that plus in advance and type in your own color as well. There are a few other shortcut tools up here where you can cut and copy. You can flip your image horizontally or vertically. And you can also change the entire size of the image. Here you, you'll see the width and the height. And you can also see it on the box that's highlighted where the width and the height are. And that little lock above is if you change the width, then it's going to change the height proportionally, whereas if you unlock it, then you will be able to manipulate the proportions. You can also rotate your text by clicking these arrows up and down, or you can change your position over here by changing the X and Y coordinate. You can also move your position around by dragging and dropping. You can do that with text or images. Next, you can select a shape, which we did earlier when we were working on our template. And there are basic shapes here that you can select as well as a score line where you can put on any image so that you can fold it easily. Now we have our upload button. Here's where you can upload an image that you have on your computer, or you can also upload a pattern. I do have a video on how to upload an SVG into Cricut Design Space, so be sure to check that video out. Thank you for watching part one of my full Cricut Design Space tour video. Be sure to watch part two to learn more on how to use Cricut Design Space. The link will be in the description. And if you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you.